Hey, it's Cairo. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing standard best of one ranked with Simic. Now, this is a poison build, but it doesn't actually win all the time based on poison. It can also just beat the opponent to death with a flyer and a huge thing. So you'll recognize a lot of these cards from like, you know, Dominaria United Standard, where we have poison going with Venerated Rot Priest, but we also have um, a new card that's Simic, that's Elusive Otter from Wilds of Eldraine. This is a one-drop, one-one prowess. Creatures with power less than Elusive Otter's power can't block it, but it also has Grove's Bounty. Distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of creatures, target creatures you control. So as you can imagine, if we have Rot Priest on the field and we have an Elusive Otter, we can cast that adventure. You know, maybe we have two Rot Priests and we get a bunch of plus one plus one counters and destroy our opponent there with uh, Poison. So that's the main win con of this deck, but it's not the only win con of this deck. We also have Fading Hope for making tempo plays. We can remove, uh, bounce our own permanents back to our hand if we need to. And if it's a Venerated Rot Priest, we can get a Poison counter off of that. We have March of Swirling Mist to phase out the opponent's creatures and let us attack with our poisonous uh, venerated rot priest or our big, like, you know, 5 6 IV, 5 6 rot priest or whatever from Storm the Seed Core, the four drop. We also have March of Burgeoning Life to, if we have one rot priest on the field, we can grab another rot priest that also counts as targeting one so the opponent gets a poison counter. And then we have Feral Encounter. This is a new card from Wilds of Eldraine. This is double forest. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may exile a creature card from among them. Great for getting another Rot Priest or an Ivy. Put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. You may cast the exiled card this turn. At the beginning of the next combat phase, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power up to one target creature you don't control. So good for uh, fighting mono red and things like that. We're not going to be fighting any, you know, six, six, seven, seven things, not without the power of Storm the Seed Core, but we do have that uh, go, you know, for two green mana, go get your other Rot Priest and put it on the field, basically. Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief from Dominaria United. 2-1 flying when a player casts a spell that targets only another creature other than Ivy. You can copy that, and then the copy targets Ivy. So if we have a Rot Priest on the field and Ivy, we can grab a Storm the Seed Core. We can do a Fading Hope. We can do Elusive Otters, Grove's Bounty uh, Adventure, and put plus one, plus one counters on them and hopefully just win via Poison. So I hope you like the build. It's still a work in progress, so... Let me know in the comments if you have any uh, suggestions or anything with it, but I, I, it's very fun, and I like playing it. So thank you for subscribing, thanks for liking, and I'll see you next time. All right, we're going first. We have a Rot Priest, Serum Snare, Feral Encounter. All right, we can keep it. We're not going to throw the Rot Priest down one because everybody knows to return the Rot Priest. What we're going to do is we're going to play a land. We're going to see what they're up to. We're going to maybe use one of these Serum Snares to return their, their early drops. Then we'll drop a Rot Priest when we have March of Swirling Mist up. So they'll target it, remove it. Then we'll phase it out. And we'll go from there. Or we'll just return it back to our hand. All right. We're sticking with the plan. We're going Island. Not going Forest, because we there's no way that we would be playing Rot Priest, right? We're just playing, you know, mono blue stuff with an Island. Each opponent discards a card, loses two life. When it's put in the graveyard, scry two, three, sacrifice it. Okay. Um... We'll probably get rid of the Feral Encounter. Doesn't seem like they're going to have many creatures. Get some poison going. They're doing nothing. Alright, well, we'll attack.
No removal? Alright. It's cool with me. That's fine. Three poison counters, seven to go. Another rot priest and ivy. Uh, I said rot priest. Rot priest ivy would be great. Discard a card. Okay. Nothing else? I don't want to uh, experimental augury right now because, you know, they can just kill our thing. So, we'll attack. Another Rot Priest is coming down, baby. Coming down to the party. Do you have a counter spell? No. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Our opponent's getting poisoned. They got four poison counters. They got a mild tummy ache at this point they are starting to think about calling the doctor they're like i think I'm, i think i might have a fever i don't know what's going on with me they're thinking about it when they get to like seven they're gonna be like okay i'm definitely calling the doctor i don't know what's happening so fading hope to protect our rat priests trespassers fine we don't necessarily need to get through Now, hopefully, it would be great if they would actually play, like, a Tenacious Underdog or something, so we could Experimental Augury in peace. We need one more island. That's what's holding us up on this augury. Is if I augury, they're gonna kill. Why didn't you play it last time? Come on. <clears throat> no attack, even. Interesting. All right, there's an otter. So we can still have fading hope mana up. Go ahead and place. That's what we like. Oh, that's what we like. That's why the otter's in the deck, baby. That's a lot of poison. Now, if they try to remove a Rot Priest, they're still getting four counters. We can Fading Hope a Rot Priest back to our hand. Oh, they're gonna... Okay, still is targeted, though. Okay, so... Whenever you... Uh, creature control because it's target of a spell. Target opponent gets a poison counter. So we got a fading hope here. I'm not going to do it in case they have it. Well, even if they have a counter spell, we've got them. Targeted. That's otter poison, baby. Take that otter, put it in a glass house, open a can of worms, burn that bridge, and send it off. Otter poison. <laughs> All right, opponent goes first. We have an elusive otter. We have a fading hope, feral encounter, and a storm the seed core. So we don't have a rot priest, but we do have an otter. Fading hope. All right, we'll keep this. There's a rot priest. Let's put down a restless vine stalk. And a march of burgeoning life. All right, so... We'll get our Rot Priest in. We're gonna save the Otter for the adventure. I'm gonna bring it back to hand. Um, sure.
I'm willing to bet they don't have another Brotherhood's End, so we're going to go grab another Rot Priest. Put that on the field. And if all goes according to plan, we'll attack with both of these Rot Priests. Cough. play feral encounter all right <clears throat> we're gonna grab an ivy actually i think that would have counted for our targeting so whoops grab an ivy might stone a weak stone get rid of the rot priest sure Reach. Excuse me. Three. We'll do it the old-fashioned way, then. Skitter Beam comes in. Oh, man. No blocks. Yes! Got there without poison. Ship it in and ship it out, baby. All right, we're going first. Three forests with blue spells. That's not going to work. Okay. Okay. So we can go Rot Priest, Ivy, Storm the Seed Core, Experimental Augury. All right. Let's get rid of a land. Do you do Rot Priest turn one? Yeah, let's do Rot Priest turn one. If they don't have a cut down or a burn spell, our Rot Priest is going to be able to get in. Uh-oh. Play with fire. Incoming. At least we have a poison counter to proliferate with our experimental augury. Serum Snare is nice. Okay. Uh... We're just going to roll with this. <clears throat> if they're mono red like I think they are, we'll make a tempo play against them. Do a Serum Snare on their Felden or whatever they play. We'll proliferate. Okay. Okay, I'll take the one. We'll augury then. Proliferate that. Okay. Not super worried about the Swift Spear. We've got another Augury. We've got a Serum Snare for anything big like a Squee. See, I don't like that so much. Let's do this. Put that back into their hand. Let's proliferate. We'll take the one.
Play the Ivy. Mechanized Warfare. <clears throat> Alright, so that's going to hit us for three. Take that for now. Let's try to find a Rot Priest here. An Otter. Alright, um... Let's take the Otter. Gain the Poison. There's a Land. Alright. So, we'll go Otter. We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. We're not doing it with poison. We're just doing it with sheer, sheer uh, will here. Do it with damage. We'll do it live with damage. All right. If poison doesn't work, we'll do it with damage. Yes, creatures with power less than otter can't block it. So our otter is unblockable, basically, to everything in mono red. They do have a mechanized warfare, so you know. There's that. Plus one, plus zero in haste. So that would be four damage from the Stormseeker. They still don't really have good attacks on us, though. That's going to do four. Because of mechanized warfare. Augury. I like it. Let's do that main phase. Let's do... Seriously? We'll grab a Spar's headquarters. We'll channel that out. Yep. So we will... Let's see. We go with Elusive Otter. That puts them on a two-turn clock. They can't block it. We take four... Yeah, we're fine to go in with this. Oh, they can't block this either. Haha. <laughs> what am I talking about? Somebody's watching this video being like, you're an idiot, dude. Just attack with a flyer, too. It's been a long day, guys. All right. It's been a long day. It was a long day. What was that, Matchbox 20? All right. Anyway, good game. All right. Opponent goes first. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a venerated rot priest, and then turn two we have a march of burgeoning life. If it survives, go to another venerated rot priest, and then storm the seed core. I like storming the seed core with a venerated rot priest. Look at that guy. He's just dripping in poison. We need to do that. Let's do the poison. So yeah, <clears throat> that'll work. We'll keep this. Red, Elusive Otter, I like it. All right, so let's put our tap land down. We're going to take a little bit of a beating here, but I think it's worth it to kind of slow play this and not put out Venerated Rot Priest and then just have it killed and have our whole strategy just go bye-bye. So we have the lands. We have everything. we will be all right. Two damage. Okay, Venerated Rot Priest. Uh, March of Burgeoning Life for two. Get rid of the other March. Probably, no, probably Storm the Seed Core. Grab this. Grab another Rot Priest. Okay. Now we're in a good situation here. Because we can go Elusive Otter, put two counters on the Rot Priests. Then, and they both survive, we go storm the seed core if we grab another, uh, grab another rat priest with March of Burgeoning Life. Godric. Okay. No blocks. Okay. <clears throat> Here's this. So, what if we go March of Burgeoning Life, discard, discard, uh, storm the seed core, right? For one. Grab another Rot Priest. Attack with these two. They go to three. Then we go Elusive Otter. Put a counter on... They go to four. So, What's the best way to do this? I 
It's probably... I think it's this. Alright, one. That's a target. Have ourselves a chump blocker. Okay. And that's another creature that we can target next turn with Storm and the Seed Core. So that'll be three poison counters right off the bat. This little candle's gonna set your world on fire. I don't think so, Chandra. I don't think your Yankee candle's gonna do a damn thing. You can't destroy our otter. You can't destroy our rot priest. You can do a damage to us. You can exile a card, but I think we're going to be just fine. So we'll go storm the seed core next turn. If we draw a green card, Let's bring things up to a simmer. they can't remove things. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's, I think it's done. So we're going to go to five. They want to block. Oh my goodness. All right. So there's no way that with one mana they can kill us. There's no way. Fading hope. One poison, two poison. Attack, that's seven. Plus a fading hope. I mean, yeah, it's done, right? So let's go like this. Grab another Rot Priest. That's three poison counters on the stack. Grab another one. We'll attack. Then we'll just fading hope this one back. That's Otter Rot Priest, baby. It's Rot. It's it's Rotter Priest. <laughs> Rotter Priest. Let's go. So that's a Simic Poison, but also not Poison. A uh, brutal five six flyer. You know, huge five six Rot Priest build. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you next time with more. Wilds of Eldraine standard builds.